Good morning or evening, friends. It is I, Wise Guys, and I want to talk to you about Orcs Must Die Unchained. Uh, this is a game that came across my radar a little while ago, and I didn't get a chance to really play. Um, now I've it hit the free market, so I'm giving it a shot. You know, no use in not giving it a shot. Free 99. What this is is essentially a, I like to call it a puzzle game. It is really a tower defense game. I say it's a puzzle game because a lot of it seems to be trial and error. Just kind of playing around with it. Um, get your stars, get your skulls up. And skulls are like your in-game currency. Along with coins, there's double in-game currency. You can be double rich, baby. But um, the game is really neat because you end up, I end up, at least me, I end up doing a lot of trial and error. Um, in the trial and error, it's just a matter of trying to figure out exactly what you want to do, what areas you need to block off, what areas you need to uh, make sure you cover in order to clear the wave. Um, you get ranked at the end of every game. You get your... Um, lost what I was going to say. You get ranked at the end of every game. They basically tell you how good slash bad you've been doing, giving you stars, because everything you have has objectives. Um, between rounds, you're able to take down some of the things you put up, like your traps or your barriers, for a um, better chance at for a better chance at a better setup. Like you can get your money back on it, and you can reset up everything you want to. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it does not, as you can see. Um, but it's really neat, like a uh, kind of that strategy of what you're going to put where, why you're going to put it there. Is it going to be effective in stopping things? That's neat. You also have a very MOBA style uh, progression tier in that you don't get to continue to progress all the time. You really only progress, um, I'll say the best way to say it. You really, you, you, you don't get to hold your progression. You get to hold your trap progression and that type of thing. You get to uh, hold your traits. But every game, you start back at like level zero. You have to restart each time. Which sounds terrible, but it's not all that bad. It, it's just the style of the game. Right now, what I am doing, some rounds, as you see, at the end of the round, what you'll have to do, is you have like a countdown, you have to get everything done within that time. Other rounds, what you have to do is um, make certain, or you get to restart it. You press the L and R button to restart. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner, that is my unchained meter. It's the best meter in the whole world. Once you get that unchained meter all the way full like it is now, you can press L and R in the middle of a round. That sends you into unchained mode, which just makes you kind of bionic man. Stronger. Faster. Better than you were before. It's really neat. Um, this is the water garden. I've had four stars on this one prior to this. So this will be a five star run. Um, I can kind of talk about some of the things that I am doing here. First and foremost, this is on Apprentice. This is nothing special. This is apparently the bottom tier. I didn't know about the tiers until just recently. I just thought I was doing okay with some of my five stars. And then I realized you can do much more. So, things to note. Um, there are right now two fronts people are attacking from. This is the original one. And if you look on the map, everywhere there's a red X. That's where enemies can come through. That's their in our minion portal or whatever. So what you can see is, oh, I love that move. Oh, I'm going with the heart somewhere. But what you can see is, I have it funneled, or I have it set to where everybody has to funnel through this bridge, whether they come from the side, or right now I'm at the top. You see my little green dot here. It's right at the top. Um, there are two openings. The little pink walls there on my mini map in the top right show you which areas I have blocked off. So the people coming from that left side have to come through my barrier. The people coming from that initial bottom, uh, top area, they have to come through my area. The, the blue circle right under me right now is what I'm trying to keep them from getting to. That's the goal. It's actually really neat. <laughs> it's a really neat setup. I don't know if it's like the most impressive setup, but it's a really neat setup. Right now I'm using tar to slow some of these guys down. Because these little guys, boy, they are quick. And they will mess you 
up. And by messing you up, I mean they're, they're not really coming for you. They're going for your core. Your core sits at 25 health. Everything that touches it starts taking health down. Most of the things will take one. Some of the bigger things will take um, four or five. I say everything. Let me not say everything. There are some mercenary characters and some of the ones that hunt you, like that dragon that just came by. Um, those don't seem to do damage to your core. But they also don't operate on the same way. Mercenary is usually on the sabotage mode, but like those dragons, they jump over your barriers where other people won't. They are far more dangerous to deal with. <laughs> but they're really just looking to kind of disrupt and deal damage to you, or to you and to your guardians. Your guardians are those big blue things that are sitting there. They're really nice. You can set them up as you please. You get a choice on which guardians you get. And I think there's a bonus if you have something on the same type. I may go into better detail on another one. Um, but essentially that's it. It's just tower defense. Right now I'm on wave 6 of 6. This was something that had eluded me as of this far. Um, right now not only am I racing against making sure nobody gets by me, but I'm also racing against the clock. On big um, waves like this one, like level 6 of 6. You have boss minions, like the one I just killed. Put his head on a pike. He's usually tougher. He can usually do something like destroy my traps or destroy my walls. Um, he can... Some of them resurrect minions. It's, it's, they're meant to be hassles. And I think they do a pretty good job of making them hassles without making them feel too unfair. Um, right now, things are going very smoothly. I'm just looking to uh, beat the clock at this point. And with that boss defeated, I'm in a very good position to do so. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner, I also have that uh, Unchained meter all the way up. So, that was good timing. And I'm able to just go to work. I'm running back now because I thought I saw somebody get by me. If you look on, if you look, saw on the map, there was a guy that got by me. That was before I knew he wasn't bound by the same rules because he's one of those minions that kind of deals damage. But now I've got one left. Boom! Trap steal damage, you deal damage, it's 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 a neat little setup, and the goal is just to A, beat the clock, B, beat the minions, uh, you know, just try to get that 5 star so you get more currency and you can keep going. It's, you get your loot better that way. So, I mean, it's, it's a neat little game. Uh, I might play a little more. I don't know how much more I'll put on the channel, but I might play a little more. Um, I'll definitely play a little more. It's a good time waster for a while. But I do look at it as more of a puzzle thing than anything else. Anyway, if you like, hit that like button. If you love, hit subscribe. If you want to see more, let me know. Thanks so much for sticking out with me. Have a great day. Peace out.